What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video for today. I want to talk to you guys about Black Myth Wukong. My impressions, I'm around a bit more halfway there. Guys, there are six chapters in this game. I am now on chapter four, about a third into okay, chapter so four. This game, guys, as of right now, as it stands, it is my game of the year. It is that serious. At first, I was really hesitating to get this game, guys. I am now a casual gamer. I like to just play games for fun. I don't like to get frustrated during games. I like my games to to hold my hand and guide me to where I need to go, all that stuff. And I'll talk to you guys about what this game has. That uh, It is a challenge for me, but I am enjoying it because it is my type of game and it's the game that I like to play but it just came with some challenges right now let's talk about graphics guys this game is a looker i have it on playstation 5 you guys can see part one right now on my youtube channel black myth wook on part one gameplay now this game looks good guys it looks good now when i first started it it kind of disappointed me because i was so used to seeing the pc gameplay of this game and when I opened it on PS5, I'm like, oh, I, there's some parts that look good, some parts that didn't look good. But as I advance through the game and I see cutscenes and I see environments, I see some bosses, I see gameplay, I see a lot of things, guys. This game looks good. Chapter 3 specifically is the one that has caught my attention the most. It is uh, Snow. So you're in a snow place and the attention to detail in this game, guys, it is incredible. It is very triple A high production value. This is a high production value game, guys. I recommend it. If you're into the God of Wars, if you're into action adventure and you're not a casual gamer, you like you like a challenge, you like the, the that type of game, right? I completely recommend it at full price. This game, it is actually worth every single penny, guys. And um, it's good because we should support uh, these developers. We should support games like this so that way more games like this come out. And the industry takes a look at this and, and pays attention to what gamers actually want uh, in, uh, in a video game. To what gamers actually want to play and what they are supporting. This game has sold 10 million copies. In the span of the f only the first three days, this game came out in August 20th. This game has sold 10 million copies in the first three days, so it's, it's been selling more since then, guys. And that is just the beginning. Uh, which this is great. This is what we need in the video game industry right now. We need games like this to come out and just explode with popularity and people getting back into gaming because it's been a bit lackluster. Uh, this year at least summer was lackluster uh, now October uh, September and October are looking a bit better but so far I don't think this year has been one of the best years we have we've had some good games don't get me wrong but it's not like uh, like other years right so this game came out and uh, there's a couple of things not that I don't like but that they have been a challenge so number one let's talk about gameplay right so gameplay you have your light attack with square you have your heavy attack with triangle the only weapon that you have in this game is your staff and magic you do have spells that are uh, that you can cast you get those spells as you progress through the game with uh, with the r2 and square triangle circle and x you get different spells you get the spells as you progress through the game and you beat bosses and the story goes on now what was it? Oh, the staff, guys. The staff has three different stances. So you have three different stances. The stances basically change your heavy attack, what you can do with your heavy attack. Uh, gameplay, guys, it is very, very fun. Now, this game is very heavily boss. Uh, is very heavily... <sighs> the, the content of this game is basically boss after boss and then you got some enemies here and there you got some exploration and then you fight another boss that's basically the pacing of this game so you got your exploration 
you got your killing your little enemies here and there and then you have a boss boom and then you go same thing you start exploring maybe there's a cutscene or something and then you have another boss so it is basically souls like in that sense that you're basically fighting boss after boss uh each chapter could easily have 10 bosses or eight bosses from little to to big you know there's also secret bosses and this uh all stuff of that nature another another thing that uh that is in this game that uh it has been a challenge for me is that there is no direction there is no mini map the there is no telling you okay you should go here and this and that it only tells you where there's a shrine so a shrine is where you rest you get some health and then um but the enemies respawn, right? So you rest, you get your health, you get everything back, your mana, you know, the typical video game stuff that you get, but the enemies respawn. So uh, the game only only kind of points you when you're near a shrine that you haven't been in. It tells you, okay, there's a shrine near here, follow this, this little light, right? Other than that, you have no map whatsoever, so you have to figure your way out. You have to figure your way forward in this game, which is, it's a good thing because it forces you to explore everything because you don't know, you kind of have an idea, okay, yeah, I think it's that way, but let's explore over here, let's see what we got, and maybe you'll find a boss fight, you know, maybe you'll find another boss that, 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 uh, that you wouldn't have found if you have not gotten through that path so that's another thing that's a uh, that's challenging if you're bad at directions and if you don't like a challenge that much um i suggest you pass on this game guys because this game is very very challenging uh i spent three straight hours from three to four hours straight trying to kill a boss in chapter three those that have played the game know what boss i'm talking about and guys, I did not beat him until like the day after. And I spent another hour to two hours beating that boss until I finally beat him. But when you finally beat the boss, you have this sense of accomplishment, this sense of I just did this that I thought I could never do. I thought I was going to quit the stupid game, but I beat him. And then the story goes on and this game just looks good. It plays well now. Gameplay, yeah, it's all good and dandy. PS5, it does have some technical problems. We have some frame rate issues. We have some stuttering. We have some texture poppins. Uh, I'm not a fan of neither of those. And uh, I think that could hinder your gameplay here and there. Nothing game breaking, thankfully. Uh, no, no game crashes. My game hasn't crashed. But it, it is something that... If you want to get rid of those technical problems, just get it on PC, right? PC is not the perfect version also, but it is a better version. It looks better and it plays better, okay? I am playing it on performance mode and the game does, does look amazingly well on performance mode. So if you do get it on PlayStation 5, guys, do not put this game on 30 frames per second. This game deserves your 60 frames and it still looks good. Trust me. And uh, yeah, those are my impressions so far, guys. It is my game of the year so far until something better comes along the way. But this game is amazing. It looks great, plays great, and it's just something different, something that we needed this year that uh, the game industry just hasn't captured yet. If you guys oh, have shit. the game, comment down below what platform you have it on. What was your hardest boss? that you fought and from a scale of one to ten how frustrated are you with this game right now i'm at a 15 but i'm loving it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time ah i was gonna dodge that
Yeah! Let's fucking go! Yo! Okay, now I see how now I see 